St. Patty's Day, everyone. And it's St. Patty's Day. And I gotta put my orange glasses on because blue light is bad when you wanna go to bed. day off next few days I work this weekend anyways I just got really excited because on the way to Derek's work we are passing two coffee places and I always get Tim Hortons at work so my actual real favorite coffee flavor is actually McDonald's I hope no one heard me say that ha yeah I don't know their coffee is just really good I would much prefer McDonald's coffee over Tim Hortons I thought it was springtime I don't know. I'm just watching you. It's fun. Anyways, that's Canada. Driving standard while holding a camera. Anyways, I am off to <laughs> McDonald's now. I really want a coffee. I guess I'm going in. Wow. I went the whole day without videoing, I'm sorry. I forgot to plug my camera in and died. But anyways, I had a quite the busy day. Pretty much woke up and I remember. Oh, drove Derek to work and came back. Then I went to work out with Steph. Yeah. We smashed shoulders. That was fun. And then I had a run off to appointment and then another one. And then I had to go pick up Derek and now I'm back home again. My weekend is over. This is my weekend. I'm working Saturday and Sunday and so Derek's off at a chiropractor appointment and I am going to sit on this couch, watch PLL, and have a glass of wine or two. Finn, hello little mustache. Hello. Oh, you're looking all my makeup off. Who needs makeup? Oh yeah, that glass of wine. There's one thing I'll put before PLL. Wagner no fail videos. Wine, vino tinto. I think it's about two ounces. Whatever. <laughs> two ounces of my measuring ounce. I was like lifting my arm up to grab my drink. Ow. Ow. My bicep hurts. From yesterday. Mm. Derek went to Popeyes and he decided to pick up this for me. It's my favorite. Yep. Pretty much. I put it on my salad or I dip my veggies in with it. I know it's probably not the best for me, but um, it's the little things, right? The little things that make you happy. Oh, tell me, what's the first thing you think of when you see this? Okay, but yeah, no. it's gonna work. It's gonna not a fat burner. Nope. Refreshing. It is. Okay, now before you can not a fat burner, but it is. Set a May. Derek picked it up for me. It's the woman formula, and it was recommended, but I did not know why they have six pack on there because that's like totally irrelevant. I mean, like it does help. It's pretty much like me showing you a picture of a beautiful salad, saying you can be skinny and fit forever by eating salad. That's not how you get skinny and fit. So, so we decided to not eat before. Not that we're restricting, it's just <laughs> if we don't walk now, we're not gonna walk later. Get her done! This little guy down here, this guy, yeah, he has energy that never ends. Ever. Like, you'll, you'll try to cuddle with him and he'll go like, he'll like lick your face and be like, <laughs> and like, everything. I think that's kind of our fault. We kind of got out of the habit of taking him for a walk. Go
I never remember to end my videos. I'm signing off with a bunch of random clips from random past few days. Yeah. My arms are still really sore. I work in the morning. Tomorrow's my repeat day. I'm a little excited. Anyways, good night. Feel better? Yeah. Look at my footprint. <laughs> Bars 101. Where do I start? I need my starting cue. You said pretty much. Whenever you feel start. like having a quest bar, you think about all the negative things. That goes for any food though. Look at the dish. But instead of thinking about that, yeah. And you're not even paying attention anymore. Alright, the camera's listening. No, it's not. You're going shh, shh, shh. I'm looking at quest so bars. So tell me. Well. Couldn't even finish it. You want to get over a food, why are you going away from me again? Now you're because you stopped more. talking! Every time I start talking. You okay, go away. ahead. Do tell your story. Are you going to put a quest bar in front of the camera? No. What are you doing with that quest bar? Gonna eat it. If you want to get over a food that you love, but it makes you feel crappy, stop thinking about the parts you love. Like, Magic. what? What do you mean stop thinking? How can you just stop thinking? So let's say you've got a chocolate cake and you feel sick after it. That's not chocolate cake, that's a quest bar. That's still a quest bar. It's chocolate. And you feel sick after it. Instead of thinking how delicious it is when you think about it, think about how gross you feel. But how do you... And voila, you don't even want it anymore. Yeah, but what if you have a very bad memory and you can't remember? All you remember is the good stuff because you're just right a very positive no person. Well then remember the good stuff about the good food that you'd rather eat instead. I feel so good when I eat my vegetables and meat. My question is, when you were very strict on your diet and you're eating very much so clean foods. <laughs> very much so. Very much so clean foods. Then how can you resist such a treat? Because you don't want it anymore. But how do you know you don't want it anymore? Enlighten me, hubby. It's hard to explain until you do it. Something you know when you feel it. If you think of something that really feels good, but it disgusts you, let's say cheating on your spouse. Cheating on your spouse. Continue. Point being, even though it would probably feel good to cheat on your spouse at the time, you don't do it because it's horrible in so many other ways. So food, well, foods you don't want to eat that make you feel crappy are kind of the same thing. But I think people... And if they're bad for your health. In order for people to come to that level of agreement with themselves, they have to first understand the downfalls of always giving in and feeling crappy. If you're not ready to not feel crappy, like, if you don't care, your life sucks and all you care about is eating food and you don't care about how you feel, well, you're going to cheat on your spouse if life sucks and you don't care well, how you, you feel, so too. Some people just won't work. I'm rich! <laughs> if all you ever focused on was how good it would feel to cheat on your spouse, chances are you're going to do it. Pretty much Derek just wants me to give up quest bars because he can't have them. That's not it. So these are the last ones I'm certain, ever going to ever have. A certain other issue with you having so quest bars. Sad. I had a last muscle form one, and I had a little bit of chocolate on my lip. Do you want to know why you should give up quest bars? Why? Oh!
<laughs> You're a jerk. I know I look pregnant. But you know, sometimes it's just worth it. Ready? Oh, we don't have a baby. That's not just Quest Bars. It's also bananas. I had half a banana, thank you. Well, it's also cereal and English muffins. Basically, I normally don't eat this much, but we're doing that experiment thing again, and... It's a refeed? It's a refeed, uncounted. You normally eat that much on a refeed, don't you? No. Yeah. It's a little more tamed. This is a long video. Whatever. You guys are watching it, not me. Playing with my ring. To save a life, I